mystical places with a dark and eerie past. Don't visit here at night. Today we're taking a look at the top 15 most creepy trees in the world. Number 15. The Trees on the Island of the Dolls While even one doll is enough to creep most people out, the trees on the island of the dolls near Mexico City takes things one step further by having a terrifying collection of them for all to see. The story goes that Julian Santana Barrera, who was the island's original and now deceased owner, began hanging them up on his property after failing to save the life of a drowning girl. As a result, today the island is full of dolls hanging from trees and buildings, with most being in a state of decay and covered with cobwebs and insects. To make matters worse, there are many that say that the island is haunted, as visitors have been known to see the dolls blink and hear them whisper, therefore making it a truly macabre and unsettling sight. We wouldn't recommend coming here unless you're prepared to be seriously freaked out. Number 14. The Suffolk Beach as far as creepy trees go, few have faces as freaky as that of the Suffolk Beach. Located on the grounds of Stollingtoft Hall in Suffolk, England, the beach truly is one of a kind, due to it having a face that is nothing if not frightening. Sporting what appears to be eyes, a nose, a large mouth, crooked teeth, and a long green tongue, this tall 21-meter tree really does look like something out of a horror movie, and with many comparing it to Whomping Willow from the Harry Potter series, or the famous Edward Munch painting, The Scream. We think that the majority of you would agree that it certainly is scary. Number 13. The Millennium Tree If you plan on visiting the island nation of the Philippines at some point, we suggest traveling to the remote village of Baylor so that you can have a look at one of the creepiest trees around. Known as Millennium Tree, its spindly branches give it a very offsetting look, and it stands apart for having an equally creepy hollowed-out interior that can fit up to 60 people. Supposedly home to mythical creatures and being subject to lots of local lore, experts have pinpointed the tree to be over 600 years old, and it can still be climbed to this day. As a result, if you want to see a terrific tree that's certainly off the beaten path, then you may want to add the Millennium Tree to your bucket list. Number 12. The Angkor Wat Strangler Figs As far as temples go, few are as incredible as Angkor Wat. Located in northern Cambodia, this Buddhist temple city is said to be the largest religious monument in the world. Spanning across an area of 1.6 kilometers square, it was built in the early to mid-12th century and is certainly nothing if not impressive. However, what makes Angkor Wat especially notable are thousands of strangler figs that dot the property. Seeming to devour many of the structures on the site, the massive trees grow extremely tall and have very wide trunks, making their arboreal invasion especially severe. Therefore, if you'd like to see some for yourself, we suggest taking a trip down to Angkor Wat. Number 11. The Manchineel Tree While this tree may not be too creepy at first glance, it's easily one of the most sinister on this list due to its terrifying tendencies. Found throughout the tropics, it holds the Guinness World Record for being the most dangerous tree on the planet. This is because nearly every single part of the tree is oozing with toxins, with this being so much so that even standing close to it can cause asphyxiation. And be it it's fatal to eat fruit, burning sap, or poisonous tree bark, its toxins are strong enough to burn, blind, maim, and at even times kill you. So if you don't want to be one of those thousands of tourists who fall victim to it every year, be sure to stick to palm trees and steer clear of the menacing manchineel tree on your next tropical vacation. Number 10. The Bandera Tragedy Tree While this tree may look incredibly innocent at first glance, it turns out that it's more sinister than you might imagine. Located in the small town of Bandera, Texas, this tree stands apart for being the facilitator of a gruesome set of crimes on July 25th of 1863. You see, at the time, the American Civil War was still raging, and the Confederates controlled the land near said tree. Yet on this fateful day, a group of Confederate soldiers stationed out of Camp Verde decided to capture a group of eight well-equipped men who were traveling through the area en route to Mexico. Now, they had every right to do so due to them being civilians, yet they were nonetheless charged with evading Confederate service. And although this was somewhat ironic given that at least two of them were simply on leave from the Confederate Army, they were nonetheless hanged from the Bandera tragedy tree for their supposed crimes. Now, Major Anderson, who had been the one who allowed this to happen, was eventually charged with murder and highway robbery in 1866. However, by this time, he was long gone. As a result, the tree remains to this day with only a fence and a simple tombstone inscribed with the victims' names in order to mark its terrible past. As a result, it goes without saying that a visit to this site can certainly be a little unsettling. Number 9. The Stucky Tree 
While most chestnut oaks are pretty mundane, an especially sinister one was found in Georgia in 2002. That's because after being chopped down by loggers, it soon became clear that it had a deadly secret. You see, a tree had a hollow stretch inside of it, and rather than house some rotting wood, it was instead the resting place of a mummified hunting dog. Aptly named Stucky, it's believed that the dog got stuck inside of the tree while hunting for game, and as a result it was found mummified after being stuck for over 20 years. Now, experts believe the dog was mummified in the tree due to a combination of factors. Two of the primary ones are that the tree's chimney-like effect helped rid it of its dead animal scent that would have otherwise attracted other organisms. And the fact that the tree had relatively dry conditions due to its tannic acid, which helped absorb the dog's moisture and harden its skin, stopping it from decaying, and thus preserving it. As a result of both of these factors in tandem, the dog's body was found in near-perfect condition. Interestingly enough, if you're the type that has a morbid fascination with the dog, then you may be happy to know that it can still be seen today at the Southern Forest World Museum and Environmental Center in Waycross, Georgia. Yet for those of you that are on the squeamish side, we suggest giving this museum a pass. We're constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number eight, the Burmese tree. Generally speaking, dead trees tend to be cut down and their wood either sold, thrown into a fire, or otherwise discarded. However, the Burmese tree stands apart for having flipped this narrative on its head. Located in the old and nearly abandoned mining town of Burmese in Alberta, Canada, the tree is thought to be over 700 years old. And despite waves of coal mining and wood cutting in the area, it has stood the test of time. However, its existence came to an abrupt halt when this limber pine lost its last pine needles in 1978, officially making it a dead tree. However, locals decided to continue to upkeep the tree due to it being a symbol of the town's former prosperity. This devotion came to test in 1998, when it was toppled over by wind. But rather than call it quits on the old tree, local residents instead decided to prop it back up using a series of stainless steel rods and brackets. If that wasn't enough, when vandals then cut down one of its longest branches in 2004, the community once again banded together to prop the branch back up, using of all things, glue and a prop pole. As a result, the Burmese tree has a rather strange and somewhat creepy appearance to this day. But if you'd like to travel out to rural Alberta, you can have a look at it for yourself. Number seven, the olive tree of Voves. While we think you'd agree that olives go great on a pizza or sandwich, the olives that come from the olive tree of Voves are known for being a cut above the rest. Located in the village of Anovoves on the island of Crete in Greece, the old and gnarled tree has a frightening yet fantastic look to it, due to it not only being between two and 4,000 years old, but because of it having been grown by a, a unique process known as tree grafting. The use of this process means that two trees were grown so their trunks can support each other. And as a result, the olive tree of Voves now has a beautiful 14 and a half meter long spiral shape that is unmatched by most of its creepy counterparts. Yet perhaps most incredibly of all, the tree still produces olives to this day, with these olives being considered by many to be some of the best in the world. And to top this all off as a result of its fame, its branches have been used in the victor's wreaths for the winners of the 2004 Athens Olympics and the 2008 Beijing Olympics, making this olive tree a true Olympian. Number six, the Boab Prison Tree, Wyndham. While most prisons have concrete walls, steel bars, and patrolling guards, the Boab Prison Tree of Wyndham, Australia is anything but. The first of two prison trees on this list, it's a prime example of what happens when the trunks of Boab trees die off, as they typically rot away and create a hollow cavity. Yet even among Boabs, the Wyndham Boab stands apart due to it being the site of a natural prison. Being about 12 meters in circumference, various sources have suggested that it was used to house Aboriginal prisoners on their way to Wyndham for sentencing. And all the reports that it could fit up to 30 people at a time were likely a little bit exaggerated. It's most likely housed some prisoners inside its trunk while others were chained to its bark. Now locally known as the Hillgrove Lockup, it's become somewhat of a tourist attraction today and as a result has graffiti written all over it. Yet due to its rather disturbing looks and disturbing history, it goes without saying that it's pretty freaky. Number five, the Wyke Elm. To a regular observer, Hagley Wood, which just sits outside of Sturbridge, England, is a sleepy place. Located in the West Midlands County of Worcestershire, it doesn't typically see all that much action or drama and it has remained that way for years. However, in 1943, a white elm found within Hagley Wood completely changed the status quo. 
Now, the story goes that on April 18th of that year, four young boys by the names of Robert Hart, Thomas Willits, Bob Farmer, and Fred Payne were poaching in Hagley Wood. After all, England was in the midst of World War II, and food wasn't exactly all that easy to come by. As they were doing so, they came across a white elm and decided to climb the tree in order to collect some bird's eggs at the top. However, upon reaching the top of the tree, Bob Farmer peered inside and noticed a skull inside of its hollow opening. Thinking that it was an animal, he pulled it out only to discover the remains of a human body. With them now holding a complete skeleton with just one strand of skin and hair on its temple, the boys were faced with a difficult decision. They could either tell the police and get in trouble for poaching, or keep it a secret and pretend like it never happened. In the end, they opted for the latter and decided to use a cloth to stuff the skeleton back into the tree. However, as you might expect, this silence didn't last long, as Thomas Willits, who was the youngest of the group, quickly let the secret slip by way of telling his father. This led to the police being called, and soon a lumberjack came to chop down the tree. It was upon doing so that not only was the skeleton found, but also a missing hand and some cheap and rotten clothing. Upon further inspection, experts determined that she had been a five-foot-tall woman who had died just 18 months before in 1941. Yet perhaps most chilling of all, they concluded that because of her body position in the tree, they were almost certain that she had been dropped in either right after dying or, more plausibly, while she was still alive. Leading to tons of speculation, a number of theories were put forward. But to this day, no one really knows exactly who the unfortunate lady was and who put her into that tree. Number 4. La Chaine Chapelle As far as trees go, few are as literally or figuratively holy as La Chaine Chapelle. Located in the small town of Elouville Belfosse in northern France, it's considered to be one of the country's oldest trees and has a storied history that is rivaled by few others. Being between 800 to 1200 years old, local legend has it that the tree was visited by both Charlemagne and William the Conqueror. Yet it became truly notable when it was struck by lightning in the 1600s. Going right through the middle of the tree, this lightning strike successfully made a large hollow cavity. Yet despite this, the tree still stood. This prompted the local abbot du Détroit and the village priest Father du Cernot to claim that the lightning strike had holy origins, and thus a pilgrimage site and chapel dedicated to the Virgin Mary was soon built there. This eventually grew so that the tree now has a winding staircase and two chapels, giving it its nickname of La Chaine Chapelle, which literally translate to the Chapel Oak in English. However, despite this tree's incredible past, it has seen its fair share of trials and tribulations. Most notably, it was nearly destroyed during the French Revolution, when a mob wanted to burn it down due to it being associated with the church. However, a local resident decided to act quickly and rename the tree to the Temple of Reason, thus saving it from a fiery fate. And thankfully, as a result of this and other restoration efforts such as the implementation of poles and wooden shingles to hold up the stairs and chapel, the tree can still be visited to this day. Number 3. Methuselah As far as trees go, few are as scraggly and as withered as Methuselah, located in the White Mountains of Eastern California. It's a Great Basin Bristlecone Pine, which is a species that's known for its longevity. Yet even among bristle cones, Methuselah stands apart, not only due to it looking like a natural equivalent of someone's great-great-grandfather, but more importantly for being the oldest non-clonal tree in the world, believing to be about 4,852 years old. It not only outdates the biblical figure of Methuselah, who reportedly lived for 969 years, but significantly older than the Egyptian pyramids or the Roman Colosseum. As a result, its exact location is a closely guarded secret, although what we do know is that it can be found in Inyo National Forest's Forest of Ancients, where it's surrounded by other ancient trees. Yet you may still be wondering what exactly a non-clonal tree is. In short, this term means that these trees are not genetic duplicates of a parent organism, but are in fact original organisms. This classification applies to almost all trees, as most do not clone themselves after death. However, by that token, the select few tree species that are clonal can recreate themselves after their initial deaths are able to live much longer than their non-clonal counterparts. However, while Methuselah may very well hold the title of the oldest non-clonal tree, only 60 years ago this was not the case. That's because a tree by the name of Prometheus used to hold the title, as it was determined to be at least 4,862 years old and possibly more than 5,000 when it was measured in 1964. Yet it was in this same year that it was chopped down by a graduate student, Donald R. Curry, for research purposes under mysterious circumstances. As a result, while Prometheus may slightly edge out Methuselah, its death 56 years ago means that Methuselah now holds the prestigious title as the bona fide oldest tree in the world. Number 2. 
Lizzie Dean's Haunted U. Lizzie Dean's Haunted U stands apart for not only having a creeping looking exterior, but also a haunted interior. Located on the grounds of the St. Bartholomew's Church in the county of Palatine of Lancaster, the yew tree, while very gnarly and twisted, is otherwise in great condition. However, its namesake, Lizzie Dean, certainly is not. You see, the story goes that Lizzie Dean was a scullery maid who was known for dressing in colorful clothing, and this is perhaps what caused a local lad to become infatuated with her and propose to her in 1835. However, after getting intimate, he called off the engagement and instead decided to marry Lizzie's best friend, who, against Lizzie's wishes, agreed. As a result, Lizzie was heartbroken and in a fit of passion went up to the attic of a local pub and committed suicide. In her suicide note, she requested that, quote, I want to be buried at the entrance to the church so my lover and my best friend will always have to walk past my grave every time they go to church. And thus, the local priest chose to bury her in front of her now infamous yew tree. And while almost 200 years have since passed, Lizzie is now known to haunt the grounds, and her ghost is often seen walking right through her yew tree while making her rounds. Therefore, if you're the type that would like to experience a real-life ghost, then a visit to this tree may be in order. Number 1. The Boab Prison Tree, Derby Holding the honor of being the second prison tree on this list and easily the creepiest of them all is the Boab Prison Tree. Located a few kilometers south of Derby, Australia, it's nothing if not impressive. As its 14.7 meter wide circumference and status as being more than 1,500 years old makes it one of the most brilliant Boabs in the area. As a result, it was reportedly considered to be of mythological significance. And thus, anthropologist Herbert Bastow couldn't have been all too surprised when in 1916 he found several bleached human bones within its hollow cavity, thus confirming its role as a sacred site. Yet beyond this role, rumors abound that this Boab was also used in the 1890s as a lockup for indigenous Australian prisoners on their way to Derby for sentencing. This myth likely came about in 1949, when a news article referencing a painting of a Boab prison tree by artist Vlazanilis as being proof that the Derby Boab tree in question had in fact been used as a jail. Yet despite this status as a prison tree having been debunked as far back as 1960 by an article in the Australian Women's Weekly, it still remains registered in the State Heritage Register of Western Australia as a prison Boab tree. And tourists to the site are still told that it possibly did hold inmates. As a result, despite it being a truly impressive specimen and certainly creepy due to its outward appearance and function as an aboriginal cemetery, its reported use as a prison is by all verifiable accounts factually false. That's all we have for you today, everyone, and thank you all for watching. Let us know which tree on this list you thought was the most creepy. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that you never miss out on any of our latest content. Until next time.